six visits to date. So I have um, Philly, Pittsburgh, Carolina, uh, Detroit, Seahawks, the Seahawks, and uh, one more. I like the last one. Lions. I said Detroit already. Yeah. Uh, Vikings, so, Minnesota. So what does that mean? That, that give you a lot of encouragement and hope that you'll be first round pick. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking it day by day. I mean, one of the interesting things about these visits is I'm really happy these teams are interested in me. Uh -huh. But going on my brother's story, when he was going through this process, yeah. he didn't have not one interview with San Francisco. He didn't have one visit to San Francisco. And then come the draft, they trade up and take him at number 18. So, you know, it's, it's really cool. I'm really excited about these visits going, be able to speak to these coaches and GMs. Um, but when it comes to draft day, I mean, anything could happen. Like, I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm really confident. My brother, the things he's done over the last five years, I mean, it speaks for itself if you watch the tape. So I'm confident he'll be fine regardless of what happens to him. He's a smart guy. He's really intelligent. He's a phenomenal football player. And things will end up going his way in the end. No, I'm not going to protest. I have, um, we each have our own beliefs, and he felt that that's what he needed to do. Um, I have my own ways that I feel like I'm going to go about it. Um, I'm not as much of a vocal aspect in that situation. I don't really like drama, to be honest with you. I don't want to deal with all of that. Um, but I can tell you that he has a, all, he also has a different plan going forward too. And I'm not going to speak for him. I'm going to let him speak for himself on what he plans to do. But we're not planning on doing the protest.